This tutorial shows how to use JavaScript to show a large image on demand. The page loads a small image initially. Clicking on the image shows a larger image. Clicking again on this large image removes it. There's also a link to show the largest image and again clicking on the image itself removes it again. The code for this includes the styling here, although this can be moved to a separate style sheet. So the big image is displayed in a fixed position and for this tutorial we've placed this top zero and left zero and width of 100%. We've also set a height of 100%. And display none. So initially this is not displayed. We want this image to appear above any other content on the page, so we've set the Z index to be 5. The div into which this image is placed is at the bottom of our HTML code, and here we have the div with the ID big image and no content. Our image sits within a figure which we've called the image wrapper. We have links to see the larger image and the largest image with a class of show frame. The image itself sits within an anchor with a class of show frame. Our images all have the same name but are of three different sizes. They sit within three subfolders of our images. This makes it very easy to ensure that we're working with the same image each time. Our page is linked both to jQuery and to our Part 3 demo JavaScript. When the document is loaded, it sets up the click function on the big image, which will toggle it. This is what we use when we click on the large image, which then hides it. An anchor with a class of show frame has a click function which collects this URL. So this can be used on a large number of images on the same page. It creates a new image using the URL that we've been pass it, passed to it from our link. We show the big image div and to the big image div we empty it of any previous image and append the link to the new image. So that will now load the new image into that div on our click. We've also got an error function if the image is not available and if it takes a long time to load, we will add a loading message. So if we go back to the image, if I click on the image, I've clicked on this image as a link. It's within the class showframe. Showframe calls this function on click. We've collected the link to the image here. So the link that is passed will be this one. That link is used to create a new image using the source that's been passed to it and that image is then added to our big image, which the style says is fixed at the top with a width of 100% and will appear above everything else. When we click on the big image itself to hide it, we're now using the big image click function to toggle because it was displayed when we click on it it'll now be hidden 